Okay, everybody. Um, in order to bake your bagels, you're going to need what's called bagel boards, at least for New York style bagels. And the reason we have these is because you start the bake of a bagel uh, once you've seasoned it with the toppings that you want, face down. And you do that for two and a half and three minutes. And what the board does is it allows the hot air through the burlap to basically cook the season side right before flipping it and uh, what I have here is a piece of western cedar three and a half inches wide by 14 inches long my old ones were 20 inches long by four inches wide and the problem is is they do not fit in my oven here they used to fit in my old New York oven 25 years ago but uh, it's been a long time since I made a bagel anyway so got my uh, Western cedar here. We've got these upholstery tacks, piece of burlap which I folded under about an inch. And what I'm gonna do is basically tack this burlap to the board right to the edge. Put one in the center. Okay, then we put one at the end, and we're stretching out our burlap, and you'll have to excuse me, but my fingers are still so shot from the chemo, and I really can't hold anything too well, so I try to get them in there, and they don't have to be perfect, just as long as you can... Darn. Okay. All right, now what I'll do is fold this side over. And what that's done is give me a little bit of a, of a tunnel for the hot air to flow through these, this webbing. And again. Real problems holding these tags. Darn it. I'm going to put a requisition in for a new set of hands here. See if I can get them on Amazon. There we go. Okay. I'll do the next one. Right near the corner. Okay. Now we'll do the last top one. And again, try to get it near the corners. This way you can stretch your burlap tight. Okay, once you have your top done, we... I'll refocus the camera here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to seal the edges here. So I folded it under my excess. I don't want it sticking past the board. And it's easier to drive the nails into the end grain. And we put three there. There go the hands again. Okay, three on that end. I'll pull that little piece of string out. Fold this under. And 
the last three. It takes 12 of these uh, furniture nails or tacks. Oh, that one's on the floor. I'll find that in a minute. Like I said, the hands really aren't working well. Get the last one off the floor wherever it went. Oh, there she is. Okay, then what you'll do is you'll soak this in water. Basically just run some hot water over it until it's nice and wet and then let it stand to partially dry. And soak both sides of the wood. Soak the top nicely. And here I'll show you the other three that are already complete. These are drying a little bit. I'll probably wet them one more time before we do a bake in about four or five hours. And that's what they look like. And you'll see the necessity why when we get to the baking board. Okay, that's how you make a real quick bagel board. And uh, they'll last you for years and years. Um, they're just indispensable when it comes to making a New York bagel. Okay, anyway, I sell sets of four for 30 bucks, just in case you want a set. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.